Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Drew. So today's video is basically about me challenging myself to doing 30 days of stretching in hopes that I can get my front splits for the first time in my life. So let's get into it. Actually, really quick before we get into the video, if you guys have any stretching or workout challenges that you would like me to do, please leave them in the comments below. Let's get into it. So since I can remember, I have been struggling with pain in my hips all the way down to my feet. I can remember crying myself to sleep at night or sometimes even waking up from a sleep because the pain was so unbearable. Unfortunately, this pain has many sources from the sciatica that my doctor just told me that I have, as well as bad posture, sitting too much, and tight muscles. I'm sure that there are more undiagnosed issues, but this is what I know for sure. So besides wanting to get my front splits, I'm also looking to add stress into my daily routine to help ease some of that pain and discomfort. The first week started off great. My leg pain became less and less and I was noticing some results. As a reward system, I got my grandma to give me a sticker for every day that I completed my stretch. I did start off following Blogilates split video, which was just over 30 minutes. So I did kind of find that I was procrastinating a bit since I had started a workout challenge soon after this one. One day, I did follow along with a different stretching video, but I didn't like it. Ugh, I have procrastinated doing my stretches all day today. So it is now 10.35 and I'm going to quickly do my stretches. But I'm not gonna film it because I don't feel like setting up the camera, but I did it, I promise. I did day eight and felt like a nice stretch, but I get really frustrated the part where I'm doing like the quad stretch where you like lift your back leg while you're in a lunge. I just can't balance during that one. I have to like either hold on to the china cabinet in the background of me or I'm constantly falling out of the position just by like putting my foot down. I think I'm doing better. I don't know if I'm gonna get all the way down by the end of the 30 days but I mean I still have like three weeks left but I don't know I'm pretty excited about how much progress I've made so far so I'll see you tomorrow for day nine Woohoo! then I found a stretch that was about nine to ten minutes and I truly found it so effective so I mostly did that one for the rest of the challenge and the link to that one will be in the description box below <laughs> it upset her a little bit oh well come to work so it's day 10 I had to get, oh, you're very crooked. No, seriously, why are you so crooked? Hey guys, so it is day 10. I'm gonna quickly do my stretch in my room. Tonight was an uploading night, so it's 2 a.m. at the moment, but I'm determined to do my stretches. I really liked that I was able to do the shorter stretching routine in my room since it didn't require a lot of space. It's not really a follow along tutorial. It's more of like him explaining the science behind the splits. I'm not gonna try and explain it because I'm gonna do a terrible job of it. So if you're interested in that, the link to that video will be in the description box below. Today is day 13 of my splits challenge. I have a ton of work I have to get done, so I'm not gonna be recording tonight, but you'll see the sticker. It's almost 2 a.m., but it's also day 14, so let's get to it. I actually can't believe how low I'm getting in my splits. I feel like I'm making some serious progress and it's only day 14, so I'm very excited for how much more progress I'm gonna make for the next two weeks. You always go for the biggest stickers. <laughs> Oh, it is. <laughs> it's okay. I think it's a butterfly, but you put it on upside down. <laughs> and, ooh. What? I said the nail sound. That's two. That's one sticker, Grandma. Isn't that the bird and everything? Yeah. Oh, it's too big. Put this big one. <laughs> You're going to do a different bigger one instead. Well, you, you didn't get one yesterday. No, so you got to skip the one day, so it's 17. There, same that does for two. Well, days. you're gonna cover it for there four days. Days. <laughs> Thanks, Grandma. <laughs> So 
up until day 21, I was super consistent except for one day, but I was slowly losing momentum even though I was seeing results and dealing with less pain. On day 25, I was dealing with some excruciating sciatic pain, so I did a simple yoga video to help ease it. Now I'm going to do my actual split stretch and maybe a little bit of rolling just to, you know, really get some deep work in there because I have been slacking, which I'll give you guys a quick little update on. I got really overwhelmed by all the things that I was working on at once, so I really slacked off on days 22 to 24. I'm gonna go and get my proper split stretch in and hopefully I'll feel really good after that. Hey guys, so today is day 28. I'm going to be doing my stretches in my room and I did last night as well. My legs are a little sore today. I've not had the greatest day with my leg pain. I'm really excited to go to bed. So I'm just gonna get this over with. I actually ended up moving your sticker that was here to there because I did the wrong, was doing the uh -huh. wrong days. So 27 and 28. And then in between day 28 and day 30, there was seven days. I slacked off a lot, but that was mostly due to PMS. I essentially spent three of those days editing last week's video. And then the final four days I spent sleeping and crying. And then I finished The Haunting of Bly Manor and cried a bunch more because the ending crushed me. I finally talked myself into doing the last day and because I had slacked so much, I did both the Blogilates and the Yanis Christoulas, I'm so sorry if I'm butchering that name, stretches, and was so shocked by how low I could get. I wanted to quickly mention that I did do a bit of foam rolling, but definitely not as much as I should have done. So this is what I looked like before, and this is after. You can see how much straighter my front leg is on either split, and I'm significantly lower. I only used one pillow with my yoga block instead of the two that I started off with. I actually tried to see where I was at without any support and was so shocked by how low I was. Although I couldn't hold the split for as long, I'm confident that I will at least get my left split during the beginning of 2021. So I'm extremely proud of how much progress I've made, especially on my left split. I was really surprised because I carry most of my tightness and pain on my left side, but it was still definitely the easier side. So that is my split stretching challenge. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please be sure to give the video a big thumbs up if you did, because it really does support my channel, as well as hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified about future videos that I will be making. Be sure to also follow me on all of my social media. They're always the pinned comment in the comments and I will see you guys next time. Bye.